What's up, everybody? I'm Aaron Stapish. I'm Elizabeth Panos. And today is Friday, yeah. and it's the day where we get to tell you guys our pick of the week. Yes. Basically, we choose our favorite game that we've kind of all played together throughout the week, and basically we go by what game we played the most and we wanted to play the most. And by far, hands down, here we go. It is dun -dun -dun -dun, Samurai Gun, and it was developed by Techno Pants, which is fantastic in itself. But yeah, basically the game, Techno Pants uh, did a really good job on this game. This, this game was being uh, developed for quite a while, and actually last year they were showing it off at a lot of conventions um, and different events, and uh, people seem to really like it. And it's available on PC, Mac, PS4, and the Vita. And something I didn't know, none of us really knew, but I guess it was a manga series that was popular from 1996 to 2002. Now that's from my understanding, like I said, I, did, I never played it, I watched that an anime or that manga, but um, yeah, so why don't you go in and tell them something about the game? Well, you mostly play with uh, two to four players, which is really popular, and you can choose any kind of character you want. Um, they're like all different colors, but they're pretty much the same character. It was just a way for the company to try to make you feel like you're playing a different character. But it, it kind of reminded me of like Mortal Kombat back in the days, how you get like Scorpion and Sub-Zero, and they're basically the same characters, but with palette swaps. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. I mean, it, it, they, I guess they had to decipher a way that you can, you know, pick your team, so to say. Oh, speaking right. of teams, oh, what happens yeah. if you pick the same player? We didn't know. Yeah, um, one time Aaron and Greg were sitting there playing and they didn't realize why they weren't able to win. They were getting zero kills and it's because they were both green, so they were on the same team. So they were just canceling out their kills. And I well, that was hilarious. Easily won. <laughs> that was hilarious because we had no idea. Me and Greg are like, man, we're killing it right now. We're doing amazing. And we're like, why do we have zero kills? It's because we're killing each other. We're taking away all the points. Yeah. Oh, and that's the point too, is that you want to get up to 10 kills. So the first person to get to 10 kills is the winner. But then sometimes there's showdowns and deaths are also a factor. So how many times you die can mess you up too. So if you get 10 kills and eight deaths and someone else gets nine kills, but only seven deaths, then there's a showdown. So then you have a showdown to the death. And the showdown's awesome, basically. Oh, and also you get a gun in the game. Now oh, in the right. game, yeah, you get the gun, but if you fall in the water, you don't get to use the gun anymore. And you're also limited to three bullets. Also, when you shoot your bullets, you can hit the so you hit your samurai sword and knock the bullet back at them. You're actually pretty right. good at that. I know, that was fun, but also the three bullets are only per death. So like if you die and you come back, then you get three more bullets again. So it's not like three total per level. Yeah, and the game, it's actually like super fast paced, but it's like 8-bit feel, but it's actually almost like an Atari feel because mm -hmm. they really dumbed down the graphics a lot, but it works perfectly. I'm not saying that in a negative way. It's just the way how fast paced it is and, and the flow of the game. I feel like if they would have made it more realistic or even like a bit more of a, of a real feel, it just wouldn't have felt the same as it does. The music added to it too. The music was like really intense. At first when we started playing it, we didn't have the music because it was only coming out of the headphones, so we couldn't hear it. And we're yeah. like, oh, we're just playing the game. <laughs> That's and terrible. then when you could finally hear the music, it was like, wow, this is really intense. And it changes up for each level too, which is cool. Speaking of that, there's actually four main zones, which is the forest, the fortress, the graveyard, and the mountain. Now with that said, it doesn't mean there's only four levels and you're not going to get bored of all four because each one, each type of zone, you can change what the level looks like. There's like six different layouts. Mm -hmm. the, we like the one where it was like all the bamboo and you have to whack I through the bamboo that. like crazy. That was fun. It's like a little maze. But yeah, do you have anything else to say about it? I think that's all I really got to say about I it. I loved it. It was definitely my favorite game of the week. I can definitely see why we all picked it as the pick of the week. I loved it. Yeah, highly recommended from all of us here at The Great Gaming. And also, you guys, the game is just $14.99. We did pick it up on Steam awesome. and have been playing it on our PC nonstop. I actually think I'm going to be playing it tonight even though we have a... Do you want to tell them about how I beat you and Adam? No, we don't need to tell anybody <laughs> how you beat me and Adam. She's actually good. The game is great. I think casual gamers, hardcore gamers, whatever, it's a great game for anybody to play. But yeah, again, guys, $14.99 on Steam. Go get it. Samurai Gun. Top pick of the week by far, hands down, here at The Grid Gaming. Yeah, and uh, enjoy your, your weekend, you guys. Yeah, Go July 4th. Go eat some hot dogs and hamburgers. hamburgers and play some Samurai Gun. <laughs> yeah. But all right, you guys, again, I am Aaron Stapish. I'm Elizabeth Panos. And we'll talk to you guys again here soon at The Grid Gaming. See, See you guys you. later. Bye.